How's it, how's it, how's it, cuz? It's time to Valaau with me, Mr. Valaau Dickie Chang. Join us as we meet your uncles, your aunties, your brothers, your sisters. Your brothers, sisters, uncles, cousins, neighbors, grandmother, all the ohana. We'll take you to breathtaking places you've never been. Meet famous people you've never seen. Kick back and cruise, you know the ruse. Aloha kawaii, mahalo nui lo, and thank you for joining us this week in yet another exciting and informative episode of Valaau. I'm Dickie Chang. Very surprising, but we don't want to think about it. But you know what is the number two cause of death here in the Hawaiian Islands, and I'm sure that pertains to Kauai? Colon cancer. Everybody has to get their colon checked, especially once you reach 50 years old. I'll tell you a little bit more about that. Many of us know that the Kauai Government Employees Federal Credit Union recently held its membership meeting that is the annual yearly membership meeting there at the Kauai Beach Resort. We had an opportunity to catch up with our president and CEO of the Kauai Government Federal uh, Employees Federal Credit Union, Monica Bells, and this was her impression of a beautiful day here on our Garden Island at Kauai. This was our 72nd annual meeting. We're 72 years old and we were able to host 400 members um, and our mayor Kawakami, he came to give a speech as well and it was an an honor to be the president and CEO and to address the members and thank them for their loyal membership throughout all of these years. You know, I, I want to ask you, as the president and CEO of our Kauai Government Employees Federal Credit Union, you like what I would see as like relatively young. I mean, is this like a, this is a pretty big time for you? Sure, yes, I'm a millennial CEO, which is kind of a big deal for our generation. Um, I think the bottom line is the torch is to be handed off to the next generation at this time. Um, we have a pretty, in credit unions in general, there's a pretty large generational gap where the people who made the credit union, founded the credit union, and grew the credit union industry to as large as it, as it is today um, are handing off the torch to the next generation. And it's all about that local ownership, and we want to keep that local ownership, and we want to move it forward. And so it's an honor to be part of the next generation of keeping the credit union strong and thriving and keeping our story alive and important uh, and resonating deeply with the Kauai community. So it's an honor to be a millennial CEO. You know, uh, Monica Belt, so speaking of the up and coming millennial CEOs, there's been and has been a lot of changes. I mean, why and how is it important that, uh, you know, we keep the local Kauai credit unions Local Kauai, buy Kauai, think Kauai, think Kauai, buy Kauai. What, what, what's the outline message? That's a great question. Um, it's really important that we keep Kauai's credit unions Kauai and that they keep thriving into the future. Now, the Kauai credit union model is it is a not-for-profit. So all of our profits go right back into Kauai's community, go right back into the families on Kauai. So all of the money that we collect together and pool together is recirculated back to us. We have autonomy and independence over our money, over our finances, over our economy, and therefore over our future. Now, other models of financial institutions such as banks or alternative lenders, they are for-profit institutions. And in that model, all of the profits go on to shareholders, not back into the community, not back into the member owners. That's a big difference. And so we want to tell the story to all of Kauai again because it resonates deeply with everyone on Kauai that if you put your money in a local Kauai credit union, it gets recirculated and reinfused into our local Kauai economy for us, by us, from us, to us. And that is vital for our future as an island. It is vital for our future as a generation. And it's really important that people understand that. Well. And by the way, that's a really, really good point because I don't think a lot of people really understand that and realize that. Do, does your members, or, or, how do you communicate to not drive it into them, but just to calmly convey it? Like, you guys are in good hands. And by the way, for the record, uh, the money stays on Kauai. It's for Kauai. And more importantly, it's for the members. Well, we, we really see that as our mission right now is to remember to tell our story everywhere we go. 
to our members and to our new members and to our non-members in the community. Bank local, keep your money local. We want, as Kauai people, as Kauai families, as Kauai organizations, we want that independence and that autonomy over our future, over our finances. And so the more that we're able to tell that story, the more people open up their minds and say, wow, we didn't realize it was that important to bank local. We will switch to you and or we will bank with you even more than we already do because that's important to them. It resonates deeply with everyone on Kauai. And more importantly, uh, with everything that you said, we will keep our money in your establishment because we know that we're in great hands. And by that, I say, this is my first KGEFCU, Kauai Government Employees Federal Credit Union luncheon. I was very impressed, uh, quite humbly, because I know so many people. I have so much respect for so many people. But it's so nice to see uh, familiar faces that I hope that this message, and I, I, you know, I want to be a part of that driving force to let the people know that they're probably in about the best hands as they can be, and honestly, that they'll ever be financially. Absolutely, and it's important to understand that all of the members you saw today, they own the credit union. They made the credit union. The credit union is 100% for them. And all of the new members that join, they also need to understand they are now owners. They have a vote. It's a democratic institution. So one member, one vote, regardless of your balance, regardless of where you've come from. That's important to the people of Kauai. These members have been members of ours for the last 72 years. We have over 7,000 members across Kauai. We have $150 million in assets. That's Kauai people pooling Kauai's money together in order to lend it back to Kauai to grow our economy in an organic way that we believe is sustainable for our island. It's a, we're a federally insured institution, which means all of our deposits are insured. We're a sound, safe, and solid financial institution that's been around for 72 years and has a fantastic business model. And we are now forging our way into the future to help Kauai, build Kauai, protect Kauai, teach Kauai just the same way that our legacy members did 70 years ago. Well, uh, as I process the math, I would probably say that what you really talked about is a big, huge, a tenth of the Kauai residential population and the Credit Union has been around 72 years, slightly twice as old as you are in terms of the, the years go by. You know, one of the uh, beautiful guests that came here to share uh, his aloha and uh, mana'o is obviously Keiki Oka'aina, the Honorable Mayor Derek S.K. Kawakami. And uh, one of the things that he made mention to the people, and I really didn't know about that, but with the disasters of the floods that to no fault of anybody came, uh, Nobody's got time to assess. Nobody's got time to think. Everybody's got realizing that many of whom lost everything that they had or 50% of what they had or 70% of what they had or 20% of what they had. And you guys just jumped in and said, hey, man, if you need an emergency loan of its kind, we'll do the loan. Don't even worry about the insurance. That'll come around anywhere. And the way he articulated that, I think it uh, not only brought a lot of rounds of applause and cheers, but it did some, said something that at least you guys didn't have to toot your horn as to what you did for not just members, but the entire community. Yes, absolutely. Um, we really looked to other credit unions across the nation who have been in natural disasters. And if you look across the state of Texas with the hurricanes in Florida and across California with the wildfires, the first institution to step up and help their members were credit unions and they didn't have to be asked. They knew their role as a not-for-profit community cooperative was to step up and help their members. And it's devastating times. And times like that is so important for members to be able to sleep at night, for people to understand that we'll take care of them. They don't need to worry about their bills. They don't need to worry about how they can access money to get back into their homes. We will support them, we're behind them, and we'll make sure that whatever we give them, it's feasible for them to pay it back when they're ready. And we understood that because of these other models we saw across the country. So our board of directors were very responsive and nimble, and they got together within a couple days and said, how do we help this community? How do we help our island? And we sat in a room until we figured out a perfect loan program that would make sense for as many people as we could possibly reach out to. And then we had to take our credit union up to those isolated areas so that we could access um, 
all of the community members who needed access and we were able to get on jet skis, get on boats, however we could, just along with everyone else who was, who was working their heart out to try and reach these people and help them um, and able to give them these flood relief loans, which we did. We ended up receiving tremendous national recognition for. We were on the cover of huge magazines across the nation. I just was in Washington, D.C. last week um, receiving an award and was able to tell the story of um, what the Kauai flood was like and how our our island wrapped its um, arms around each other to help um, get you know get those people to safety and get them recovered. Um, and it's such an honor to be a small credit union who can be nimble and who can give back to their community and to really live that mission out of people helping people at a time when it's most needed. Well, it's a tearjerker because it's very chicken skin and touching because it was never a matter of, uh, you know, we can't help, but it was more of a matter of how we can help. And by the way, as an interesting footnote, uh, I do understand you made national news because they did a little clip on you and you you uh, you became historic of Kauai. Uh, they used your soundbite to run nationally. How cool is that? That was really cool. I think just being able to tell the story of this little island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean who really knows how to rally together, be one big ohana, and help save our island and save our communities who need us most. It was such an honor to represent Kauai Government Employees Federal Credit Union. You know, and by the way, if you just joined us, I am with the president and CEO of our Kauai Government Employees Federal Credit Union, uh, Monica Belts. How are you feeling, man? I mean, you got do, you got heavy... Uh, you got heavy shoulders. I mean, are, are you excited? Do you sleep? Or, I mean, like, we're moving forward. Uh, with that being said, uh, I don't know if it's too premature, but I'm going to ask you. You guys are going to be opening up uh, another uh, outlet up in Kilauea in the, in the brand new, beautiful, uh, stoked out, upgraded, happening complex out in Kilauea. Is, 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 can you give us a little sneak preview? I mean, what's going on? What's happening? Sure. I am excited. Even though I'm a little jet lag from my trip, I arrived home yesterday from D.C. Um, we're really excited. And we got to announce that to our members today, that due to the growing demand of people from all the way from Kapahi all the way to the end of the road, that they would love a credit union branch in that region of the island. Um, and our members asking us for, for that extra branch or that um, accessibility to the North Shore, um, we decided to open up a branch in 2019 in Kilauea in the new Lighthouse Village. And every day, I, I live in Kilauea, and every day I'm asked by people getting coffee or, or dinner or whomever, when will your branch open? We can't wait. We want a credit union on the North Shore. Um, so we're excited to announce that today to our membership, and we received a standing ovation and round of applause for being a pioneer and moving up there. And obviously this is 2019, so more specifically, uh, is there a projected month and date? Sure, we're shooting for fourth quarter, so sometime toward the end of the year. We'll know more in the coming months and we'll keep that information available to the members. Now, you know, when you make mention about membership, uh, my understanding, uh, let's say for example, um, there's a Subway sandwich or a Wailua shave ice, so there's a food land, Kung Lung is across the street. Do you folks then approach businesses and say if they want to be a part of the uh, credit union, and more importantly, if they are a part of the credit union, that enables employees or associates to now then apply for membership. Is that how it's working uh, in terms of people wanting not just access, but to become a member? Because anybody could probably use the ATM machine, uh, but but people would probably want to say that, hey, I want to be a member. I want to be a part of a Kauai government uh, employees federal credit union. I mean, how is that going to work? Sure. So we have business partner organizations um, who can join. And when they join, then all of their employees and their employees' families are eligible for membership. But we, we're also able to qualify almost anyone for membership through other organizations and um, partnerships as well. Obviously, our core group is the government employees and their family members. Um, and, and then we have over 100 business partners, and we're adding more business partners by the day. So we will welcome that. We love community partnerships of any kind. Um, we do plan in the branch on having a, a little zone that's dedicated to a lot of our partner organizations to maybe display their business, their organization, the services they offer. Um, you know, if it's retail, for example, if it's retail, we might put some of their products up on display just to share in the love and, and share their story. And it's all about telling stories and talking story and sharing with everybody. You know, it's really funny uh, just knowing you personally, I want to commend you for being a mom and for being an advisor to being a genius. Uh, 
on a personal note, do you ever get to sleep? I mean, do what, what are you thinking about when you're sleeping? Are you just thinking like, I just need to sleep? Or are you just thinking about the next day about how, how uh, busy or jamming or exciting? I mean, a lot of stuff uh, coming down on your shoulders, sister. True, yes, I think it's work hard, play hard. So um, as long as you're working hard and playing hard, you're gonna sleep really hard. So I sleep like a baby. Oh, beautiful. Okay, why don't you just take this opportunity? It's been an honor and a pleasure. Uh, please share your aloha out to the beautiful people of our Garden Island Koi and say a nice, fuzzy, cheery message and let them know if they ever need kokua or if they ever need help, mm -hmm. there's a lot of exciting things happening and you want them to become members of our Kauai Government Employees Federal Credit Union. Absolutely. Aloha Kauai. Thank you guys so much for your loyalty over the past 72 years. We are from Kauai, for Kauai, by Kauai, to Kauai. Please join on board and bank local and keep our money autonomous, keep our money independent. And we want to have say over our future. We want to have say over our finances and we want to keep our money on Kauai and keep it churning for an organic and sustainable future for our families. Aloha. Thank you once again to our president and CEO of our Kauai Government Employees Federal Credit Union, Monica Bell. So we're going to take a short break. When we come back, it's Sean Cayley and, of course, the president of the Board of Directors for the Kauai Government Employees Federal Credit Union, none other than our very dear friend, Cindy Ayanan. Hi, my name is Sherry Kawachi. I am a sales representative at King Auto Center, where we have the best new and used cars on Kauai. Standing right next to this beautiful brand new Honda Pilot, Come see this and more at King Auto Center. Be sure to ask for me, Sherry Kawachi. Thank you. Captain Andy's sailing. Nobody has more fun. Captain Andy, the ultimate sailing adventure. Welcome back, Kauai. Let's head on over to the Kauai Beach Resort. There we had the annual membership meeting for Kauai Government Employees Federal Credit Union. We caught up with our board president for this wonderful event, Cindy Ayanan, and of course, one of the leaders of our Kauai Government Employees Federal Credit Union, Sean Cayley. Thank you, Dickie. Um, today we had our 72nd annual um, credit union um, membership meeting and we had 360 of our members and their families um, here for lunch, a luncheon at the Kauai, beautiful Kauai Beach Resort. Um, we had um, live entertainment by um, Lena Allah's Hula Halau and it was very enjoyable. Today's um, agenda covered our business meeting and election of directors for our next um, three years and um, we had um, a really nice day filled with um, meeting friends that we've never seen before and it's all about our members and giving back to their financial needs so we're there for them. You know as the president of the board of directors for Kauai Government Employees Association uh, Federal Credit Union you mentioned 72 years. That's a long time. It is. Uh, you, you, can you fill us in a, a brief history as to uh, how, what was the founding fathers like? I mean, I mean, that's a long time. Well, I don't know exactly what happened 72 years ago, but we were called, our previous name was the Kauai TNC, which stands for Kauai Territorial Credit Union. And my parents belonged to it at that point in time. And I have been a member of the credit union my entire lifetime. And I, um, we have represented the government sector of members. And we are currently branching out into signing up partners. So any business group can join our credit union. You know, you mentioned your credit union. I think that's very, very important because the credit union really is uh, sincerely really a part of the membership. I mean, it's it's like of Kauai, for Kauai, for Kauai, of Kauai. I mean, and, and in local standards, that's very important to be Kauai owned, operated and uh, giving back into the community. And that's exactly right, Dickie. Uh, we are for Kauai. We're going to be on Kauai forever. And um, we give back to our families and our members. And the other really important 
part about our credit union is you get personalized attention. You walk in there, everyone knows you by your name, they know where you're from, they know where your background is, and so it's a really family-oriented atmosphere. And for that reason, everyone wants to join the credit union because it's that type of feeling of ohana and giving back to our families. You know, uh, today was my first luncheon, my first meeting with the Kauai Government Employees uh, Federal Credit Union. And I think what uh, made me aware or what made me warm was I see so many kupuna that I've known since I got here 30 years ago. And I was just impressed with the membership because they're very, very loyal and they have uh, they have ownership. I mean, they, they just like the fact that you made mention, you know, the front line, the tellers, and everybody knows you by name. It's like, uh, it's hard to find personalized, attention. you know, attention, and it comes natural. Um, we strive to be friendly and provide customer service to all of our members, whether they're from Kapuna to Keiki, and we want to help all of our families on Kauai. So we ha offer loans, um, you know, credit cards, debit cards, checking accounts. We have automatic teller machines at various locations come to our door. Um, we can help you and we can refer you to someone who can help you get whatever financial needs you. And you know, Cindy, you've been in the, uh, you've been in the office of the mayor for many, many years. Uh, my understanding is, uh, very recently you finally retired and you happily retired but people still call you and ask you for advice talk story how's it how's it how's it but tell us who makes up the government employees here on Kauai. Our credit union, um, the board of directors, our management and our staff um, all come from diverse backgrounds you don't have to be from the government sector um, again, we're, uh, we have seven board members. They come from various diverse um, agencies or private sector businesses. Um, uh, recently, we um, hired a new CEO and president, Monica Bells. Uh, Monica came with a few years of experience working with another credit union on this island. And she also brought along a great leadership team, which we're very proud to have. Um, and the staff has been consistent in providing all the services that we can reaching out to our members. Again, we're there to help the people. And um, I have retired, but it feels like I'm busier than ever now because I'm so committed to working for the people of Kauai and the credit union. You know, Cindy, personally knowing you and for the benefit of the viewing audience, many of whom have known you for years or decades, if you will, uh, we probably just want to know what drives you. I mean, what makes you want to take this responsibility and, and to move this, uh, you know, foundation and this uh, credit union forward? I guess I have some connection from when I was born. I became a credit union member. I moved away, went to college, and when I lived on Oahu, I also joined another credit union board there. I worked at Meadow Gold Dairies, and um, they recruited me. When I moved back to Kauai about 20 years later, um, I went to the look for a job, and the first person I met was Dolores Kauai. And for those of you who know Dolores, she was the labor department manager, and I went in to look for a job, and she signed me up to volunteer for this credit union. So I have my heart, I guess, is attracted to doing volunteer service. And my heart is here on Kauai, which is such a wonderful place to live. And I am so happy and humbled to be part of the credit union and help other people learn about their financial um, future. You know, and, and uh, I just recently got to meet Dolores Kauai. Mm -hmm. You got Amy Isaki. I mean, you got a whole bunch of different uh, sectors, not necessarily board of directors, but, you know, chairmanship, membership, and what have you. But they, as Koi residents, uh, truly love what they're doing, and they, they got a mission because I think mm -hmm. this is way much more important that people winner, know about to support to a local entity, an entity such as the Koi Government Employees Federal Credit Union. Yes, Dickie, um, a lot of the volunteers... Um, and serve on different committees. We have a supervisory committee. We have a marketing committee. And 
and then our board of directors. And all of these volunteers that serve have families. And again, it's that, that experience, that journey that they have enjoyed um, seeing their money grow, learning about financial investments, and they feel safe and they are, we are member owned. So they own, we are investing in our future for our families. So for that reason, we have some of the greatest people on this island who just want to volunteer and serve. And that's what Koi is all about. Lastly, all if you just joined us, we are here with our president uh, of our Koi uh, Government Employees Federal Credit Union. Cindy, thank you very much thank for uh, volunteering, as you mentioned. But would you like to just take this opportunity to say aloha to your friends and family out there and say, if they don't really know about what's going on with our Koi Government Employees Federal Credit Union, that uh, they can call you or they can ask or they can <laughs> sincerely just walk in and tell us the location uh, about uh, your message and the location. How do we get there? Sure, um, Kauai Government Employees Federal Credit Union. We're located right in the back of Wright Street. Um, you can see our name on our building. It's right past the old Jack Wada's building. And um, we're open Monday through Friday, um, 7.45 um, to 4.30, um, Monday through Thursday, and until 6 on Fridays. And anyone there, you can call us at 245 2463 and ask for any assistance over the phone or go to our website at Kauai Government Employees Federal Credit Union and see what we have to offer you. So I'm more than happy if you folks want to call me, you can reach out to me. Um, you can call the credit union, ask for me. I'll be more than happy to sit down and talk with you and sign you up. <laughs> Thank you, Dickie, for being here and we appreciate all that you do for the credit union. Thank you, Cindy Ayanan, once again, our president of the board of directors there at the Kauai Government uh, Employees Federal Credit Union, here to tell us a little bit about how the credit reunion works and how you can be a member. Here's our very dear friend, Sean Keeley. I'm the chief operations officer. I am responsible for basically all of our member-facing operations, all of our lending, our new accounts, our contact center, all of those things. So tell me about KGEFCU. Well, KGEFCU is Kauai Government Employees Federal Credit Union. And um, of course, government employees is our core. We, we were f uh, founded to serve government employees and we still do. Uh, but we've broadened that a little bit. Uh, one of the misconceptions that people have about Kauai Government Employees Federal Credit Union is that you have to be a government employee to become a member. Uh, when in fact, there's a number of ways that you can become a member. Um, we, we are here to serve the people that care for and protect uh, the island of Kauai, and so that, that extends beyond government employees. Um, we have a number of partner organizations that we um, are grouped with, where if you are an employee of that partner organization, you are eligible for membership. Um, if you are a member of certain organizations, such as the Kauai Chamber of Commerce or the Kauai Museum, you are eligible for membership. Um, we even have um, students of Kauai Community College. So there's a number of ways. Uh, I encourage anybody that is interested in membership at the credit union to contact us and, and we can talk to you about different ways that you can become a member. So for the benefit of the viewing audience, many of whom are probably thinking about, uh, why would I want to be a member? Why would I want to be a member? Well, because we are a not-for-profit local financial institution. So all of the money that uh, is pooled in the credit union is used for local people here on Kauai. We, loan, we lend out the money to local people. Um, we have great rates and lower fees typically than you might find at other financial institutions. And it's local democratic control. So our members vote for a volunteer board of directors, and um, those board, that board of directors is all... Kauai government employee members here on Kauai, all of the money that we make gets reinvested back into Kauai and our members have a greater say in what their money is being used for. Now your friend and mine, our president and CEO of our Kauai government employees, Federal Credit Union, Monica Belts, uh, my understanding is that she recruited you so we know that she's a genius. <laughs> but when she recruited you or she asked you to uh, okay, here you know, be a part go. of this uh, mission, there were there any thoughts or did you just jump on board? Tell us about the story. Well, um, I, 
it was a great opportunity. Uh, and um, I worked for another credit union here on Kauai for many years. I, I believe strongly in the credit union movement. Credit unions do wonderful things for their members across the country. And to have an opportunity to come to this particular credit union, a smaller credit union that um, has a, a great history here on Kauai, and to be able to participate and build this credit union and help it grow, I, I had to jump on that. You know, today, this afternoon's luncheon, I was very, very, very impressed because this was mine and probably your first luncheon or membership meeting. But I was really stoked to see like a lot of the kupuna or a lot of the old time born and raised Kauai residents loyal and true uh, to this, uh, to their establishment that I was kind of stoked because you can tell when it's a successful party because people come early and nobody leaves. I mean, everybody waited and it wasn't <laughs> about the prizes, but they all waited just, I guess, because it was fun. Yes, uh, it's um, actually it's my second annual meeting that I've been to for this credit union and I, I was really impressed and it's great to see so many of our members. We had almost 400 of our members that came out for this event and to see the smiles on their faces as they were walking out, uh, it really tells me that they enjoyed themselves and we had great entertainment and really um, it's all about participating in the credit union and um, having members come in and be a part of the financial institution that they own. You know, and Sean, uh, in this day and age of uh, social media and things are going bam, 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 I would probably wish and hope that when the memberships and the longtime born and raised residents see not necessarily change for the future, but new faces that bring brilliance, that's bringing brilliance and can articulate to them that their money is safe, we're, we're moving forward, we will protect you, we would make you and have you gain your interest, but it's all in the interest of uh, this island of Kauai. That probably makes them feel very secure and stoked. I would hope so. Uh, yes, we are, we are a very secure financial institution. All of the money that's on deposit at, at the credit union is insured. Um, and so there's um, very little chance of, of having any loss. But it's also a very well-run organization. It's financially strong. And so um, I, I do uh, want everybody to know that, that if they bring their money here, it's safe. Um, you mentioned the kupuna. It's great to see the kapuna coming out here. And, and uh, I sense from them that a lot of them do understand what the credit union is all about and where we came from and how we're, how we're built. Uh, and it's also encouraging to see some younger people starting to come to the annual meeting and families bringing their children and uh, teaching them about the democratic structure of credit unions from an early age. And Sean, I think that's a very, very good point because the net net of, the, of everything, when they see the lineup of the board of directors, many of the kupuna and the local families can say, oh, that's my nephew, that's my niece. I mean, who else would you trust outside of your own blood, you know? Exactly, yes. And uh, it's great that we have a board of directors that is that consists of members of the credit union. And um, we have also a, a range of ages on our board. We have a range of backgrounds. And uh, it's, it's great people that are running this credit union. You know, and earlier you had mentioned that uh, there are opportunities to become a member. Uh, we talked a little bit about that. But uh, lastly, you know, outside of uh, you know, the Kauai Museum and the other different uh, Chamber of Commerce and the different entities, why would you, or give me your strongest uh, aloha as far as people investigating and or trusting and say, hey, I want to be a part of the Kauai Government Employees uh, Federal Credit Union. Uh, well, when you say investigating, uh, you know, you, they can come in and they can talk to any of our staff about all of the services that we offer. We have a wide range of services and they can absolutely trust us with their money. And um, they they have the convenience of being able to use uh, all kinds of different services, debit cards, online banking, mobile app, uh, what you would find at a typical financial institution. So uh, it's great that they, yeah, they have access to all of these services, uh, all of these loan and deposit products with an institution that's here that is geared towards serving our local membership, our local community. We have products that are specifically designed, um, loan products for, for members based on their situation. Uh, for instance, when we had the flood last April, we, we rolled out a disaster loan to help people that were affected by the flood. Um, when we had the government shutdown or the partial government shutdown earlier this year, we had something that was designed to help the people that were affected by that. And the nice thing about being a small credit union is that when something happens that affects our members, we're able to 
adapt quickly and we're able to build something that helps our members specifically. Thank you once again to Sean Cayley and of course to our board president, Cindy Ayanam. Now, if you're looking for the Kauai Government Employees Federal Credit Union, it's located on Umi Street. Everybody knows Umi Street, Kiibo, and then you got uh, Dr. Bolasan, you have the uh, WBs, and of course you have the Kauai Government Employees Federal Credit Union. So check it out. And if you do want to become a member, why don't you just step in, talk to the friendly uh, tellers up there in the front and they can let you folks know how you can qualify and be a member of our Kauai Government Employees Federal Credit Union. We we'll have to take a short break, but don't go away. Vala'au will come right back. And when we come back, very important, have you had your colon checked? If you did not have your colon checked, very simple way, don't go away, very important. Vala'au will be right back. Vala. Aloha Kauai, my name is Joy Kagawa. I'm a sales representative at King Auto Center. Please visit us here. Uh, we'd love to show you our new cars, like this new Passport that just came back into the Honda line of cars. Please come in for a no pressure buying experience at King Auto Center. I'll show you this brand new Passport. Um, Come and see Joy Kagawa, King Auto Center. Please ask for me and see what the King can do for you. Thank you, Kawaii. See you soon. Healthier is quality care close to home. Healthier is state-of-the-art facilities and the largest and best team of doctors on Kauai. It's specialty care and caring in a special way. Healthier is Kauai's only comprehensive bone and joint center with expertise in joint replacement, hands, feet, ankles, and sports medicine. Wilcox Health, creating a healthier Hawaii. Aloha, I'm Barbara Bennett, owner and publisher of the Islands Monthly Community Magazine for Kauai. Available at newsstands, mailed to you by request or at the Honolulu and Lahui airports. I invite you to join our local residents and read our stories. All local, all community, all Kauai. Read For Kauai Magazine on our website, forkauaionline.com. With more feature stories, videos, daily calendar, and local news that will excite and interest you. Visit us daily, weekly on the web, and monthly in print. Mahalo and aloha. Welcome back, Hawaii. Many of us don't realize this, but guess what? Believe it or not, the second leading cause of death here in our Garden Island of Hawaii is colon cancer. Hard to believe, but colon cancer is so easy to detect. Now, everyone would say once you turn 50 years old, you must have your colon checked. Now, every 10 years when you turn 60, again, they're at 70 years old, or again, they're at 80 years old, you do need to check your colon. And just wanna let everybody know, very simply speaking, a lot of people, when they realize that it could be hereditary, there are many that when they're in their 30s, even upwards to their 40s, obviously, they get their colon checked. So if you do have a history of your family having colon cancer, I would recommend getting your colon checked and it's a very simple process. When I turned four, uh, 50 years ago, some close to 10 years ago, I did get my colon checked and it's a very, very easy way to do it. All you gotta do is prep. That might be the hardest thing to do. But once you get there, anesthesia, boom, you're out. They check your colon. They get in there with a camera. The rest is history. If there is any of these uh, polyps there that are in there, they can immediately zap them and that way you can control your colon. But anyway, 50 years ago on my birthday, I did have my colon check and it did inspire many to get their colon check. Remember, very simple process. Here's how it goes. Too many people have excuses for not getting tested for colon cancer. I don't have the time and it's not going to happen to me. I'm afraid of tests. And those paper gowns, they're just not fashionable. You know, I meant to. I, I really did, but 
every time I try to set an appointment, uh, I get jury duty. The American Cancer Society has a giant inflatable model of a human colon that you can visit. Welcome to the large intestine. You may enter with an official gut guide. Come on in. If you are over 50, you need to start thinking about your colon. Both men and women are at risk for colon cancer, and colon cancer is the number two cause of cancer death here in the state of Hawaii. Let's explore. Colon cancer almost always starts with a polyp, and polyps can turn into cancer. So if you find a polyp and take care of it early on, you may have just prevented yourself from ever having a colon cancer. Let's explore some more. Mind your head. If a polyp goes undetected, it can grow into the wall of the intestine, and then the cancer can invade other parts of the body. Your doctor can tell you what kind of colon testing is right for you. For example, a three-step card that you take home or a colonoscopy at the hospital. The main thing is that if you're over 50, you get that test. Mr. Dickie Chang, we're here to discuss uh, options for colon cancer screening. Uh, several options are available. Uh, your primary care physician may offer you a screening test with uh, stool cards for occult blood and subsequently refer you for colonoscopy. There are several other options, although the best and really the gold standard is, is colonoscopy. Uh, a colonoscopy is a test performed by someone, usually a fellowship trained gastroenterologist who will pass a tube of fairly small diameter all the way through the colon it's got a lens on the end and it allows us to see inside the colon uh, on a nice big monitor, a TV screen type of projection. And when we're looking around the colon, as illustrated by this example, uh, we start at the rectum, we pass the tube up through the sigmoid colon and up through the descending colon turn across the transverse colon and all the way down the right side, the ascending colon to the cecum. When we're doing this, there's a, a, a channel that allows us to pass devices such as biopsy forceps or snare to remove polyps that we see at the time of the procedure. Those polyps are then sent for analysis to determine how, how significant they are and if there's cancer involved. Uh, ideally, we want to find and prevent cancer, or if we find it, to take it off and remove it at an early stage or limit it to surgery so that the person is cured. Hi, I'm Devon Florence from uh, Kauai Medical Clinic. I'm a nurse here, and I work in the gastroenterology department. I'm here to tell you about a few things to get you ready for your colonoscopy. We need you to have an extremely clean colon. Now there's only one way to do this and I'm going to tell you how. The day before your procedure you have to have a clear liquid diet all day. What does that mean? You're going to have things like apple juice, uh, jello, chicken and beef broth. Now no roast pork, none of the good stuff, no moose to be, none of that. Just for one day you can do it. And what we're going to have you do is do that all day long and around noon you're going to take two tablets to help you get you cleaned out. Then here comes the part that's a little difficult. You're going to have something called Go Lightly Solution. Now it's a gallon. You may use a half gallon. It depends what the doctor orders. There are even some pills that he can order. But this is the most difficult part because what it does is it makes you go to the bathroom. So you may be getting a lot of reading done. That's what I do when I, oh, never mind. But anyway, um, you're going to be going to the restroom a lot. So uh, prepare yourself for that. Uh, you're going to drink the whole thing. It's either half a gallon, as I mentioned, or a whole gallon. You're going to drink the whole thing along with your medicines that you normally take and do that all day long. Stay home, though, once you start. So basically, once you start the prep, you don't want to make any plans to leave home. After midnight, nothing else to eat or drink except for your medicines in the morning with a small sip of water. And that's basically it. I'm Devon, and I'm here to help clean you out. part about this thing. Wow. Alrighty. Okay, Mr. Chang. So we're all ready to for your procedure. We have your IV and this is what they're gonna put the medication in. And let's see, we verify your name. So what's gonna happen is uh, 
anesthesiologist will talk to you, the operating room nurse will talk to you. They basically ask you the same questions, are you allergic to any medications, verify your name, address, we got the right person. Um, they're gonna explain how they're gonna put you to sleep. The procedure itself takes about 20 minutes and you did all your prepping, so you're ready to go. So um, in the procedure room, about 20 minutes, you'll be awake when you get there and it's just right around the corner. You'll be awake, they'll put you to sleep. When you come back here, normally you're at sleep. You recover about 20 minutes. You'll still be groggy, so you need a ride home, okay? You have to, definitely have to have a ride home. And you should be ready to go. Your checklist is done, and we have everything we need. You have any questions for me? No? You feel comfortable? I feel hungry. You feel hungry. As soon as you're done, you can go and have something to eat. You can take really good care of him. Well, I'm, I'm, I think you should be really proud that you came in to have this colon screening because, like, my dad has had died of cancer. And I've actually had this done three times, 45, 50, and 55. And it's so important, because I know that if my dad had had colon cancer screening, they would have found this when it was just a little polyp. And he, he might even still be here today. So it's really good for you to come in for colon screening. You're going to start to feel very sleepy in just a second, OK? But just close your eyes and just imagine you're on that golf course right now, just having a wonderful time. And when you wake up, your procedure will be all over. We'll make sure you feel really, really good that you have no pain. Okay, so for the record, you for the no record, <laughs> you feel just great. we played Pua Kia Golf Course, and for the record, I'm going to have a uh, uh, council member. You're doing just great. You're doing just great. You just close your eyes. has a channel that can blow air through so that we can inflate the bowel nicely to get a good look on the way in. Now I'm in the transverse colon as you can see the uh, characteristic folds. And then now I'm going to make a turn here. I was very happy with the uh, cleanliness of Mr. Chang's bowel prep. He had a relatively straightforward exam, a good experience, uh, pain free with a good sedation and because his exam was normal, uh, he can wait 10 years before repeating uh, his next colonoscopy. You did really good. Well, I'm done. You're done. You did a great job. Don't roll back too far. This bed isn't real wide. Wow. All right. I'm done? I'm done. Well, I cannot believe I'm done. See, the prep is the worst part. This part is easy. Wow. Well, he also had an easy colon. He, you know, he's relatively young. He didn't have any polyps or anything that he had to take yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it was very smooth, and he did a really good prep, so there wasn't a lot of things to wash out or anything like that. Colon cancer is one cancer you can avoid simply by getting tested, just like Dickie. Hey, Dickie, how was your 50th birthday present? If you're 50 or older, you need to get tested, no matter how good your excuse is. Listen to Larry McIntosh, a cancer fighter. When I first moved to Kauai at the age of 22 in 1965 and took over the teaching position at Kauai High School, I was so busy building the program that I forgot about my health. And many days I taught under very stressful health conditions. At the age of 63, I realized it was time after retiring to go have my physical exams taken and check my health and have my first colonoscopy. Don't wait 40 years to have your first colonoscopy. Get it at the age of 50. If you're 50 years or older, talk to your health care provider about getting tested for colon cancer. If someone you love is over 50, remind them to get tested. You could save their life. I got tested and it saved my life.
We're your American Cancer Society. Together, we can save lives and create a world with more birthdays. Once again, it's a very, very simple process. Remember, right around the corner is Colon Cancer Awareness Month, second leading cause of death here in our Garden Island Koi. And I just want to let everybody know, the beautiful friends of the Grand Hyatt, what they're going to do, be doing, Diane Hartman and friend, they're orga friends, they're organizing uh, just a two-mile run walk at the new Hokuwala uh, Pathways. It's just two miles. It's going to be happening at 8 a.m. this coming Saturday, March 30th. You can sign up through active.com active.com this is colon cancer awareness so much of the funds will be going to the colon cancer awareness i believe partially some of it i believe is american cancer society or the relay for life which they're both connected one to the other and of course our visitor industry charity walk further information log on to active.com and remember if you're 50 years old or you turn 50 years old more importantly if you have a family history you're in your 30s, your 40s, consult with your physician. You can actually get an earlier colonoscopy. Very, very easy to detect, but it's very important to check out your colon. And if you did have your colon checked out, remember every 10 years, you need to go check out your colon. No shame, check out your colon. Everybody laughs about that, but very important. We're gonna have to take a short break. Don't go away. Voila, Al. We'll be right back. Check out your colon. Voila. Hi, I'm Vanessa Carano. I'm a Selden leasing rep with King Auto Center. We have an extensive inventory of new and used vehicles from Hondas and Rams to Ford F-150s and Toyota Tacomas. Let me help you find the vehicle that best suits your family and your needs. Call me at 245-4788 and ask for Vanessa Carano. Again, that's 245-4788, Vanessa Carano. Hope to see you soon. Feel the beauty of this sign up. Down from the beaches to the highest mountain. Different people living as one in harmony under the sun on the island in the middle of the sea. On the Pool Kea Golf Course. Call for your tea times today. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Vala'au. As always, we'd like to sincerely thank each and every one of you for watching Vala'au and making us a part of your weekend and week out festivities here in our beautiful Garden Island of Koi. We are located on channel 128 Spectrum Cable, and I just want to let everybody know, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, 7 a.m., 12 noon, 4 p.m., 7 p.m., 12 midnight. Let everybody know that Valaau is on the island of Kauai. Just want to remind everybody, we have our annual bum run. The bum run is put together by our very dear friends at the Grand Hyatt. We used to there, do it there on the golf course, but we have a very friendly route. It's only a two-mile uh, two walk run around the, uh, the paths there, crushed coral paths there at Hokuala, the former Kauai uh, Lagoons area. So Hokuala up by the golf course, you got that big 800, what we used to call the old 800 parking lot itself. You can park there and for further information, log on and you can sign up to active.com, active.com. Now portions of the proceeds will go, I believe, to our visitor industry charity walk. I believe for Relay for Life, uh, American Cancer Society. And I do believe also, no, in fact, I can tell you, that's for colon cancer research. So it goes to colon cancer. And remember, when you get 50 years old, that's relatively young, I had my colonoscopy at 50 years old. Get your colonoscopy, then you can figure out where you are health-wise. Now, I just want to let everybody know, hereditarily speaking, it's the second largest cause of death in the state. If some of your family members had colon, 
check your doctor in your 30s or in your 40s because many people that I know actually did an early colonoscopy because of the history of their family. But it's very important to get your colonoscopy. If you did it like I did when you're 50 years old, it is recommended that every 10 years you get another colonoscopy. Very, very easy. They knock you out. Next thing you know, you wake up, you'll figure out what's going on. But when you get that clean colon, remember there's a camera coming in, there's a zap machine there that happens to, if you identify the polyps, they can zap out the polyps itself. Away, clean colon. colon. Further information, consult with your physician, but get to make sure that you check that out. It is time for us to heli on. As always, let's all continue to take our families, our friends, the neighbors, the Malahini and the Aina. We'll see you at the bum run, 8 o'clock a.m., Hokuala, active.com. On Vala. On Vala. Vala, 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 Vala.